Welcome to Electron Line. So, what produces electromagnetic radiation? Well, the first thing we might think about when we're asked that question is we think, well, the sun does. It puts out light and infrared radiation, ultraviolet radiation. Light bulbs, for example, they put out visible light and infrared. Uh, antennas put out radio waves. So we can think of some items, but it turns out that the answer really is everything produces electromagnetic radiation, even the ice cubes in your freezer. So why is that? Well, let's first familiarize ourselves with the range of electromagnetic radiation. It starts at the low energy type, radio waves, then we have microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet radiation, x-rays and gamma rays. Gamma rays are very high energy waves, they're actually very dangerous, and radio waves are very low energy. Also, accordingly, Radio waves have low frequency and long wavelengths, and gamma rays have high frequency and short wavelengths. So, why is it that something like a brick, or your hair, or your shoes, or the walls of the room, or ice cubes, how do they produce electromagnetic radiation? Well, it turns out that every object is made up of vibrating atoms. So here we have a small little segment of a brick, and we see all little atoms just vibrating back and forth. And each atom has a nucleus. The nucleus is positively charged because it contains the protons of the atoms. And so around each nucleus that is positively charged, we have electric fields. Now, when the object wiggles back and forth, it causes the electric field to move up and down. Now, if you're observing that over here, when it's moving up and down, you really don't see anything. But if you're over here, and this is an eyeball, by the way, in case you're wondering what that symbol there is, if you're over here observing this electromagnetic field, then is, if the object causing the field goes up and down, it causes wiggles in the field, and those wiggles in the field, they become electromagnetic radiation. It has the electric field oscillations in one direction, and the magnetic field oscillations in the other direction. Together, they form electromagnetic radiation. So since every object is made up of atoms, and all atoms have positive nuclei, and in every object, those atoms, they vibrate, causing the nuclei to vibrate, which causes then the electric field that exists around every single atom to vibrate with the vibrating atom, and that then causes each atom to act like a little antenna. It vibrates electromagnetic radiation, and they go, depending upon which direction they're vibrating, the vibrations will then go in those various directions, and together, because the brick contains thousands, millions, trillions of trillions of atoms, all vibrating in all directions, and all these little atoms, they produce electromagnetic radiation, and together the whole brick then radiates all that energy outward. And depending upon the temperature of the object, the vibration of the atoms will vary. At high temperatures, the atoms will vibrate fast. At low temperatures, the, radiate, the atoms will vibrate very slowly. So the frequency of the radiation coming out of an object depends on, upon its temperature. We call that Wien's law because Wien discovered this relationship that the temperature of an object can be determined by this constant divided by the wavelength of the radiation. And for example, the temperature of the sun can be determined by simply taking this number, this constant, and dividing it by the average wavelength of the radiation coming from the sun, which is about 500 nanometers. And so it turns out when we do the calculation, we can then determine that the surface of the sun has a temperature of about 5,800 Kelvin. Quite hot, by the way. But so we can tell the temperature of every object. A brick, the temperature of, of your body, and that's why now we use these special thermometers that measure the radiation coming from your forehead, and from that they do the quick Wien's Law calculation, and they tell you what your body temperature is because of the electromagnetic radiation that your body puts out. Now, the walls of your house, the body, your shoes, all that, even ice cubes, without infrared radiation. But we have higher energy radiation that comes from very hot objects or very energetic uh, explosions in space and so forth. We get x-rays and gamma rays from that. Or if we have less energetic events going on, we can produce microwaves or radio waves. But nonetheless, all matter in the universe. Every single object in the universe produces electromagnetic radiation of some type, depending on its temperature.